Hi Gemini, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your general love reading for the month of February 2023. Uh, happy Valentine's to you, those of you who are celebrating. And again, this is going to be for anyone looking for any messages and guidance in love. Uh, if this doesn't resonate with you, Gemini, there'll be other videos coming up for you soon. So please do like and subscribe and hit uh, notifications for any new updates. Plus comments are much appreciated, okay? Really grows the channel for me. So Gemini, today we're going to start off with a love oracle first for you. Then we're going to draw three cards from the right of weight. Then we're going to get some more oracles and some clarifiers as well to see what's going on for you. So universe, please give me clear messages for Gemini, please, for the month of February. What is going on for Gemini, please, for the month of February? What does Gemini need to know for the month of February? Of February. Okay, here we go. So, Gemini. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. It deepens. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> there's someone here that you're still growing a relationship with. Could be a friend that you're dealing with right now. You will be opening up to each other here and getting to know each other more. And this may not be anything too serious yet. For some, it could lead to something serious. We're going to take a look and see what's coming up for you now. So that is your energy coming through here for the month. Very positive. Baby steps for a lot of you. Okay, Gemini. All right, let's see what else is here. So, universe, please give me clear messages here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, cross watches, you're always welcome here, okay? So, let's see what is going on here for Gemini, please. Universe, Gemini, please. Okay, so three cards. First off, we have oh, the Five of Cups in reverse. This has been coming up a lot for people. We have the Four of Wands in reverse. And lastly, we have the King of Swords. And bottom of the deck for your energy, it's the hanged man. Okay. It's telling me that a lot of you are waiting on something. You're not making any major moves yet for this month. This could be for a lot of singles, but also for those in couples here, you're waiting on something anxiously. Not completely anxiously, but I feel like some of you are looking for an opportunity here okay now the five of cups in reverse and the four of wands tells me this is about a relationship or a connection here this person you may be dealing with or you could be having to deal with uh past x energy here that you're healing from or already healed from most of it's in your past now there may have been a connection between you and this person you may also find that with the Four of Wands in reverse here that you're thinking whether or not uh, this type of connection is going to lead to anything more, a bigger connection, okay? Could be definitely dealing with an air sign here, but Gemini could also be yourself, so uh, Libra or Aquarius or another Gemini, of course. <clears throat> could also be your energy that you're invoking as well. King of Swords is definitely a very strong, powerful person, someone who uses their words wisely, someone who's very smart, intuitive here, someone who knows what to say at the right time, someone who's very firm and someone who's very, could be manipulative for some, but I'm not seeing it as anything bad here. There's definitely... Um, a connection between you and someone here and it has to do with a lot of verbal exchange between the two of you or a lot of mental exchange here okay so <clears throat> this is someone who's definitely uh, piquing your interest let's take a look and get some uh, more cards here to get more clarifier on these three cards here universe tell me more about the four five of cups please five of cups Five of Cups in reverse, please. So, I have Judgment. We'll get through all three and then we'll get into it, okay? So, Four of Wands in reverse, please. Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, 
Okay. Balance. Very nice. So, King of Swords, please. King of Swords for Gemini, please. Okay. Let's see what's coming up for you. <clears throat> service. Okay, very nice. So, service is I feel good when I can, can help others here. Yeah. This person may be assisting you with something. You may be working together or engaged in a project together or doing something together here. Four of Wands speaks about balance here. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Judgment is back here with the Five of Cups. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. You've made a decision here, here on out, about a past relationship that has either ended or you're trying to end it here. Five of Cups is healing energy, okay, from sadness or hurt feelings or regret. You've had to either cut something out in your life or made a choice here. <clears throat> this choice is bringing you back balance, okay? Because you know what you want in a relationship and perhaps things that uh, you had in the past here weren't necessarily good for you. And again, service with this air sign. Definitely, they're going to be helping you out with something I'm seeing here. Let's find out more, okay? Let's get some clarifiers. We're going to do three each for each card here. Let's start off with the Five of Cups in reverse again, please. Five of Cups in reverse with the Judgment. What is this all about, please? Five of Cups in reverse. Okay. So, Gemini, oops, clarifying the Five of Cups we have, King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles, okay, very interesting, I'm going to get into each one and then we'll do a little reading for you, next is the Four of Wands in reverse with balance, you need to find balance in relationships, stop giving too much I'm seeing it here and here. Four of Wands, please, for Gemini. Okay. What else for Gemini, please? Oop. Seven of Cups in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse again. Double confirmation. Four of Swords in reverse. And lastly, the King of Sor uh, Swords, please. This act of service, doing good for others, helping. What's this person helping you with? King of Swords, please. <clears throat> Alright. Two of Pentacles, choice. Six of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Wow, okay. So I have the King and Queen here as well. Definitely a choice here. There'll be definitely a choice between you and this person coming together. They'll be helping you with something with the Six of Pentacles uh, here and the Two of Pentacles. Someone's deciding to make a choice here. Someone's a little bit uh, confused with the choices. They may be a little bit back and forth, but ultimately they decide to give into this relationship or giving into this connection here by helping out somehow with you. Maybe there's money involved for some. You could be working together for others. It could just be something that they do for you, okay? Queen of Pentacles, this person's coming through with earthly energies here, okay? There's a nurturing motherly energy here with the Queen of Pentacles. Definitely very stable energy here. Someone who's very beautiful, someone who's very down to earth, someone who's very reliable here and confident here in who they are, okay? So this person wants to give because they have a lot to offer and they have enough, they have abundance here. Now with the Five of Cups here, working backwards, back to the judgment decision here. Uh, Seven of Pentacles, someone doesn't want to put the work in anymore or they're impatient about the situation about this judgment here, but there's the Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity here that comes to you that allows you to move forward here. 
brings you stable energy coming with the King of Pentacles here for you. This is your energy. You're confident enough to manifest something here, to make some changes here. And wherever you're not putting the work in anymore to with the Seven of Pentacles here in reverse, you feel it's no longer needed. So you may have been healing a lot and now you're done. And now you're on the move here with a new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning, new opportunity, some sort of offer coming through. I believe this offer is coming through from your end here. So you may make the first signs of communication with this person. You may be the one opening up finally because you're over a certain situation or maybe you see them in a situation that they need help with and you're there to help lending a helping hand here. This is a choice that you've made and this is now going to lead into a series of events here with this person with the judgment, okay? The Four of Wands and Balance bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. You want marriage, you want connection. <clears throat> With the seven of cups here, some of you have many choices here in front of you, but you're ultimately zeroing in on this one individual here. They may not be what you expect here. They may not be that type that you've always been looking for here. Maybe that perfect husband or wife or whoever, whatever you're with here is something that you don't necessarily see with this person, but somehow you're intrigued by them. And so you don't give it much thought anymore here with the Four of Swords in reverse. You're gonna go and get what you want or interact and do whatever it is that you wanna do. You've made up your choice almost, but have they made their choice? What will they decide? I think ultimately they're going to figure out that they want to give more energy towards you. They want to give more of their time to you. And they're going to bring a stability uh, within this connection with you that you've never ever experienced before. Okay. Now you're kind of still in the hangman energy. So I am getting a lot of you. Well, could be a prophecy coming through for a lot of you that you're thinking about. So uh, some sort of um, moment for yourself where you realize, hey, I've been putting work into this and I'm no longer going to do this anymore. And I've been hanging around waiting and waiting. Now's the time. Now's the time to bring upon, upon an offer, but do it in a different way here from a different perspective. Something more challenging for yourself with the hangman here. You're being patient with it at the same time. Okay. All right, let's check out if there's any more messages here. So definitely there's connection here and choices between you and some other person here. You're going to be revealing a lot of yourself here, but I'm not seeing too many cups here. So I don't think it's going to be too on an emotional side, more on an intellectual side here and a more of an energetic side here so that you're giving your passion and your energy to this person here. Okay. All right, let's see what messages we have unavailable. This person is unable to give you all you deserve. That's very much possible here. <clears throat> you may find that this person's difficult to, they don't necessarily come to you right away. Or there's something about them that keeps them busy and you question that here. That's the energy here with the Four of Wands. It's like they're afraid of commitment or something, so they're unavailable emotionally. And maybe you're connecting with this person just on, you know, a lighter side. Intuition, you already know the answer you seek. So those of you who think that this is your person, the answer is yes. Okay. Or it should be, but if it's not, then you should know. <laughs> okay. Tell me more about the situation here for Gemini, please. Anything else for Gemini? Okay. My life is not as together as it seems. This could be from you or from them. Any of Anything else? I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, it's definitely your energy. You're very much intrigued by this person. They got you over that heartbreak pretty fast, didn't they? And then you realize you're putting work into someone or something from the past year that wasn't. Now the unavailable could also be this energy that you're no longer putting work into from this sadness with the five of cups that you're coming out of, okay? That could also be the situation here. All right, any other messages? I think that's the last one we'll take. I'm starting to understand our connection. See, getting to know each other, 
hangman energy, keeping it real, but also viewing things from a different perspective, uh, taking time, and also not making any crazy moves here besides wanting to engage with this person, which is fine for now for you, okay? That seems to work for you, Gemini. Okay, so flirtatious energy, yes. Uh, major connections? No, not really. But hey, you know, we take it one month at a time. So Gemini, let's find out if there's any other things we need to know for you here. I'm going to see if there's any numbers or signs that are coming through. And we have the number seven. So lucky number seven can be very important here, dealing with this individual. Seven days from now, seven weeks on the seventh month. Okay. And then we have Aries here. So you could be dealing with an Aries. Any other signs? Okay, we have Pisces, and one more. Oh, we have Gemini. It's you. <laughs> okay, so, hey, that's coming through for you now. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other videos coming up for you soon. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit notifications for new updates. Guys, I really appreciate you being here till the end. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.